Dutch submarine O-19 has been on patrol near Singapore for multiple days now without making contact with the enemy. That is, until the afternoon of April 18, 1942. A Japanese task force was sighted sailing south at high speed. O-19 managed to get into a decent attack position and fired off a salvo of four torpedoes. The four fish were launched at a Kuma-class light cruiser, and all but one torpedo detonated against the hull. The Kuma was sent straight down to the bottom, and O-19 lurked away. Her destination, Sarabaya. She was heading there to rearm and refuel before heading out on another combat patrol. The air war over Java has continued at a steady cadence. Our forces continue to inflict heavy losses on Japanese aircraft for little losses of our own. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our War on the Seas series with the Abdicom mod. Task Force Basilisk here has encountered a Japanese formation of destroyers closing in on Sarabaya, and they move to intercept. We are once again near this island, where we have had multiple naval engagements, and there's the enemy uh, coming straight at us. Looks like a bunch of modern destroyers, maybe Yagumos. I can't tell. Let's, yeah, they're automatically going to open fire. Additionally, we have multiple aircraft in the area. They are 22 kilometers away outside the Yugumo class uh, is target number one. Let's see. Let's increase our speed. Additionally, I want Dragon and Exeter to break contact and form up and turn outside so they can kind of take a lot of the fire. I am worried about Tromp. She is quite slow compared to the rest of the formation. But let's try to cross the T here and we will send our CW-21s north to kind of spot. We also have some Hudsons here, which we can send in to inflict some damage. Now, my goal is to cause enough damage to this Japanese formation so they stop closing in on Sarabaya. We want to inflict damage and have them turn around and head home. Going through and sinking every one of these destroyers really is a waste of ammunition. And seeing as how we really need the supply for the upcoming invasion of Sumatra, I'd rather not expend too much ammo trying to sink destroyers. Now I am curious, I do want to see if I should go in and do my bombing runs first or wait until we damage some of these warships. I want to wait until our guns inflict some damage. Additionally, let's make sure Exeter, you are indeed firing high explosive. Good. You are targeting number two as well. That is good. We are starting to already get close hits on the Yugumo class destroyers, which is really reassuring. Additionally, another benefit of our current position is these Yugumo classes have one forward facing turret and two in the aft. So once they start shooting, which they are seeming to hold their fire for the time being, once they start shooting, we won't be facing as many guns because they are charging straight at us. Let's see, what is the range to target? How close is Emerald? She is 17 kilometers out. Once they get a little bit closer, I will launch our torpedoes, I suppose. Just to try to get them to turn around because this charge is of mild concern. I want to just inflict enough damage so they realize they've made a horrible, horrible mistake. Dragon and Exeter have almost reached their leg and then they are going to turn. Actually, I kind of... Let's start heading west with our entire formation. I think that's a good idea. And keep engaging. The Japanese have started to return fire and Emerald seems to be taking the brunt of it. As a result, I'm going to have Emerald start to lay smoke, increase speed if she can. 
Need all the speed you can get. Stuart lays smoke and John D. Edwards lays smoke as well. I believe the maximum range of our torpedoes is 11 kilometers. Let's check real fast on that. Mark 15 torpedoes, 12 kilometers. Okay, that's pretty good actually. I'm gonna wait just a little bit and then we will launch our Mark 15 torpedoes. Hopefully we get a few hits into the formation. Exeter can launch her torpedoes though, for sure. Let's see orders. Let's see recognition manual torpedoes. Yeah, 12 kilometers. We are within range and the Japanese are only getting closer. We also have a really good solution. Fire our torpedoes on the starboard side of the ship. All three of them. Two, let's do a one degree spread at this range. Fire. Okay, Dragon. Same deal. We'll do a two degree, let's do a three degree spread. Fire. Okay, those torpedo launchers are swinging out. Let them have it. There we go. They're still coming at us, so there's no way they're going to be able to launch torpedoes at this angle, which is good for us. Let's take a look at our friend. Yeah, number two does not look too good here. Yeah, she has developed quite a list of port on fire amidships and is getting bracketed quite heavily. Exeter, stop this fire narrow spreads. Exeter is actually engaging number one, which is doing just fine apparently. Dragon, who are you engaging? You are engaging number one, two. Make sure you're firing high explosive. I will manually control these. I think everyone else is engaging target number two. That's okay. Stuart, oh boy, you've been hit. Stop. Okay, get ready to break formation. Check your torpedoes. Of course, one of our launchers is disabled. You have three torpedoes. All right, three, fire. You're in arc, let him have it. John D. Edwards. Six degree spread, fire. Turn to port. Get an arc. Stuart, get out of here. Go strafe that thing. Bomb that Yagumo. Okay, torpedo should almost be an arc. There we go, firing. We just wanna get our destroyers out of here. This Yugumo does not look good. More explosions and finally, Dragon and Exeter are starting to get good hits on this first Yugumo. They are still closing in though. I honestly figured the Japanese would have turned around by now and realized their horrible, horrible mistake, but um, we're gonna keep engaging and hopefully we do not lose Stuart. Oh my gosh, Exeter is making work, doing work though, that's for sure. Oh, Stuart. Work on the fires. Work on the fires, Trump. Get out of here. We'll try another torpedo run. I don't want to use too many torpedoes here. CW-21s are closing in. Just to uh, cause some chaos. Okay. Contact 3 is classified as a Yugumo. There we go. Hitting her. Dragging some of the anti-air, which is nice. Hudson's are moving in as well. Hopefully they get some good bomb hits. We'll see. I'll just have the AI do it. Exeter, how's it looking? Yeah, you're going ham. Maybe time to begin targeting number two with Exeter. This one here, number eight. Yeah, begin targeting number eight. Exeter, spread out some of our damage. The Hudsons have dropped their bombs and they are heading towards the Yagumo. Meanwhile, our ships are just battering this thing. Is she even engaging with her main guns? I cannot tell. Let's see, those bombs should be falling relatively soon. Who knows, but this thing is a light from stem to stern. Do not think 
she is going to stay in the fight for much longer. Let's check on our ships, and it looks like just Stuart has some flooding at this point. Looks like our bomb's probably messed, huh? That's all right. These things happen. Exeter, you are engaging eight. How's she looking? She is on fire, taking damage. Dragon, still engaging target number one. Yeah, keep firing until it's sinking. Emerald is engaging one. How about you go for number two, please? Stuart, how's that looking? Two fires, lots of flooding, critical damage apparently. That ain't good. Uh-oh, did we have a collision? I don't think so, Trump's okay. Get out of here. Trump and John D. Edwards just need to withdraw. Let's get our destroyers out. Looks like a portion of the Japanese formation is turning away. There we go. First one going down. All right. Dishing out, engage number eight. Stuart, engage three. Everyone to the east of Emerald, start engaging target number three. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Exeter is starting to take some heat. We're going to have her deploy smoke. Stuart got hit again. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Stuart. Not like this. All right. If we lose Stuart, I guess that's... That'd be unfortunate. Don't get me wrong. But thankfully, the Clemson class destroyers are relatively cheap. Command point, command point wise. And trading one of them for... Probably at least three Yugumo class destroyers here. That's pretty good. These torpedoes actually look nice. They may end up hitting target number seven. Exeter, you are engaging target number eight, which <laughs> is taking on a lot of water. And she is obviously on fire, which cannot be good for the health of the crew, I would imagine. All right, you are engaging three. Number two, are they still being engaged, I do hope? No, she's not. Okay. Emerald, engage target. No, 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 no. Dragon, engage target two. There we go. That seems like a good, good way to do it. So we are going to sink, hopefully, all four or all three of these remaining Igumos. Then the rest of these guys will probably withdraw for the time being. Let's see. Got my Hudson's here. I could try to hit one of these in the rear. Like this one that's already damaged. That may be a good target. Another Yugumo is sinking. That is two destroyed. Additionally, this Yugumo is all by its lonesome. So that is the one we are going to target with our Hudson's. And we are going to try and skip bomb. Once again, drop down 60 or so meters. 30 meters should be fine for us to avoid the mast. Form up in a diamond formation. That's the one that I seems to be working best for me. We're going to turn in. All right, CW21s are leaving the engagement area. That is fine by me. Ooh, boy. Unfortunately, I think there's are going to miss. A lot of our torpedoes ran out of fuel right before they reached the enemy. Okay, number eight is sinking. Number eight is sinking. So Exeter, engage seven. You engage three. You engage three. Stuart, engage seven. Why not? Yeah, those torpedoes missed. What a shame. What a shame. All right, Hudson's. I'm sorry. Get back down to altitude. All right, make sure all of you are selected. Close in on our Yuguma friend. Hopefully at least a couple of bomb hits would be swell. And is she going to turn? Negative, we are coming directly from amidships. Looking pretty good. Everyone selected and just continuing to check that. All right, let's bob and weave a little bit. Okay. 
Bombs away. Oh, lost one. Bombs skipped right over the fucking ship. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, I'm increasing being in out of here. Oh, man. Okay, well. Released a tad too early that time. Um, that's all right. These things happen. Get out of here. I don't think the Hudson actually ran into her. I think the ship would be pretty worse off. That's okay. Stewart. Okay, target number three is sinking. There we go. All right. Rip open that Yagumo. Oh, poor Stewart. Yeah, she doesn't look too great. Honestly, let's have Exeter begin turning around. Same with Emerald. Get out of here. All right. We'll have them swing around and engage four, six, and five. You know what? Might as well sink all of them. Uh, I mean, this is our out. How's she looking? Yeah, let's sink number seven, and then we will withdraw from the battle. Let's make sure everyone's engaging seven. Yeah, I don't, there's no need in, in engaging these last three. I think it's good to just finish this one off and get the heck out of here. That's the safe thing to do and the smart thing to do. We don't want to get too greedy. Well, it is a shame, but Stuart is going down. I guess I saw she was dead in the water. She wasn't making any speed, and yeah, that's it for her. So we did lose a single Clemson-class destroyer. I believe that's all we are going to lose for this battle. This Yagumo is just <laughs> on the receiving end of every gun we have in the formation. Let's have Emerald turn back. All right, let's just get out of here. Hopefully this Yagumo is able to go down. That's quite a few Yagumo classes that we do not have to deal with. I am curious how many Yagumo class destroyers we have to deal with after this. Japanese. I mean, a lot of their modern destroyers have been taken out at this point. Yagumo. There are 19 in the class. Okay, we they have quite a few. All right, well... Uh, slowly whittling them away, I suppose. And I'm sure these guys were carrying troops and supply. I do not believe they were heading to Sarabaya just for fun. I think they were trying to land troops and kick off an invasion. Well, my luck uh, just got a lot worse. John D. Edwards has suffered a magazine explosion. Oh, man. So, looks like we will be losing two Clemson class destroyers. I think it's time to order us to abandon ship. I wish we could do that. That would be some nice fluff, but she is going to go down. That is two Clemson class destroyers. How this Yugumo is still making 22 knots, I don't know. It's just charging ahead. Let's have Emerald turn south. All of you turn south. There we go. What a, what a rotten shame. Yeah, but she's definitely going to go down. We do have a few more Clemson classes that we can get. Paul Jones is back. Yeah, we have a few more. Quite a few, so I will get some more after this, but... Yeah, what a shame. What a shame. These Yugumo classes, these modern Japanese destroyers are no joke. Especially when there are eight of them in a task force. That's a lot of firepower. Let's see the report here. Critical damage, heavy flooding. I think I will withdraw from the battle with four sunk. And maybe this one will get scuttled, who knows? 
I want to reduce the amount of damage now. So we are going to initiate the retreat. We are clear to leave the combat area, so we are going to do that. And yeah, unfortunately, that's what I feared. John D. Edwards was scuttled. We did lose two destroyers, 2,616 tons sent to the bottom. The other Yaguma was scuttled as well. So we ended up sinking quite a few destroyers here. Five destroyers sunk, 10,000 tons sent down to the bottom. No command points. And uh, well, hopefully we foiled their invasion. Okay, Task Force Basilisk. Perfect. We're going to have Jupiter. Hmm. No, we'll send reinforcements up for Basilisk. She will, they will continue to defend Surabaya. What a shame. Additionally, you can see it is day 80 of the campaign, and we do have 85 command points. So you know what that means. It is time. Well, first off, we do have a convoy heading this way all the way to Batavia. They are carrying troops and supply. But it is time to get a new task force. All right. New C. We already know what we, what we are going to get. I mentioned it in the last episode, so it should be quite fun. We are going to flip to British ships. And she's only around 50 points, if I remember correctly. Hermes Glass Light Carrier, which carries 20 swordfish torpedo bombers. We are going to grab that. That is 55 command points. Additionally, we do want some sort of ex escort. Admiralty class, Thanet and Scout. Let's get one, two, and that's 65 points. And then, yeah, why not an ASW version? Now, the issue with this, of course, is our lack of anti-aircraft uh, capabilities. A lot of our modern destroyers have been sunk, unfortunately. But I do plan on keeping this task force away from the fight. And hopefully, we'll be able to send land-based aircraft out. Because the other carrier we can get is Langley. And unfortunately, she can carry two Kingfishers and eight Catalinas. I think the, tor the swordfish torpedo bombers are the better bet. Okay. I mainly want these destroyers to protect us against uh, submarines. Done. Let's form up in a circular formation. And we want to make sure Hermes is... We'll put her in the number two position. Swap positions. There we go. And we are going to send them out and have them operate in the Indian Ocean just south of Java for the time being anyway folks that is going to do it for today's episode i do hope you all enjoyed it if you did please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel but until next time this is wolfpack345 signing off and i will see you all on the next one